open year. How are you today? Well, today is Monday, the 14th of September. We are going to work on unit 11. Yes, C, D, plus the review. We are going to check the activity book, these pages, 85, 86, and 87. Remember, you have to kind of ding the message in the bottle, 30 words, yes? Today, we're going to see how to write a short biography. I will give you examples. War building, yes, develop, lift, yes, one, yes, okay, verb plus preposition, one by one, one day, one, one day, the meanings, the meanings with one, and then the word building, think of, remember, lift, pick up, yes, and then class book, we are going to work on pages 134, 35, 36, and 140, the review. You have to write a short biography, que es el ejercicio que tienen en la página 90, ¿sí? Lo van a escribir aquí, yes, you are going to write it here, yes, you have all the information, yes, and you are going to write here, bien prolijito, la biografía, ok, 100, 120 words, yes, y me van a sacar foto pdf de esta parte, no me manden el otro, quiero que la biografía esté aquí, en este texto, ok, yes, porque es a short biography, is it clear, good, then activity book, pages 88, 90 and 91, yes, shall we check the pages please, yes, ok, if it is okay, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Well done. Good, 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 good. So let's go. Uh, where is my highlighter? Wait a minute. No. There we are. Good. So the astronaut thought, entre comillas, I hope this works. Yes. Entonces ustedes tenían cómo pasar de una frase directa al estilo indirecto, pero después tienen el estilo indirecto para pasar al directo. The climber shouted. ¿Qué gritó? Hello, entre comillas. Siempre lo que voy a poner, voy a poner entre comillas. ¿Ok? Entre comillas, number three. See me after class. The teacher said to the student. The costumes officer asked. Entre comillas, can I see your passport, please? Entre comillas, sorry, sorry, I've lost it. I have lost it, replied the tourist. Yes, okay. Exercise four. Could, was, showed, laughed, Yes, I'm looking for another marker. Yes, where is it? No, it's not here, not there. It's up here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, could, was, showed, loved, and would. Yes, acordate que tenés que hacer bien los cambios de los que expliqué en la clase pasada de can, could. Will, would, present simple, past simple, yes, is it clear? Present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, yes? One, a two, exercise five, it's one small step for man, one giant leap from mankind. Three, the mission shows how the two countries can work together. Four, siempre esto entre comillas, eh? I love, I love space. Five, the USA will send the human to Mars by 2030. Exercise six. Ahora sí, the important speech. He said that he wasn't interested in science. Yes, 
I'm not interested. Primero tenés que marcar el tiempo para saber. Está en presente, va a pasar a pasado simple. They say that, está en, en presente continuo, pasa a pasado continuo. They were leaving early in the morning. The girl, yes, okay, I live here when I was, yeah, a girl. Yes, está en pasado, pasa perfecto, pasado perfecto. The girl shouted, uh, perdón, el three. The girl shouted that she had found her purse. Yes, ok. Presente perfecto, pasa pasado perfecto. My grandmother said that she had lived here when she had been a girl. The scientist said that one day they would discover the solution. Entonces, ellos dijeron que descubrirían la solución. ¿Está? Así que lo importante es marcar primero el tiempo en la frase y después fijarte qué tiempo, en qué tiempo está. ¿Qué tiempo, ¿A qué tiempo pasa? The tour said that he was lost. The astronaut said that they had landed. Dice, we had landed. Está en presente perfecto, pasa pasado perfecto. ¿Está? Entonces, los astronautas dijeron que ellos habían... Yes, ok, is it clear? Well, so, uh, 86. One C, two B... 3C, 4B, 5C, 6A, 7A, 2, 2B, 2A, 3D, 4E, 5C, yes, 3, true, 2, false, 3, false, 4, false, 5, false, 6, false. A ver qué tal anduvo con reporting verbs, ¿ok? Say or tell. Say. Two. Tell. Acuérdate que es tell somebody. I told you, I told her. Three. Said. Four. Tell. Five. Told. Six. Said. Seven. Told. Eight. Said. Exercise. Um, vamos, seguimos. Bueno, hasta ahí. Porque hasta ahí era la... Uh, vamos al 5B. Yes. He said that he loved this video game. Bueno, no, el 5B no se puede hacer porque son con las frases del ejercicio 5A. ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos el 87, solo el ejercicio 3 y 4, ¿sí? Ok. Yes, ok. Good. So, that's all. Let's move. So do it again. I'm checking some info. So let's go. Put the date on pages 134, 135, 36, and 37. And then 140. Is it clear? Good. So, I will show you some pictures. Wait a minute.
So I want you to see the projections. They are. Yes. So he's a collector, yes, he's a collector, yes. What things do you think, do you think he collects, yes? Yes, he collects things, yes, things from Asian uh, moments in history, Asian periods, yes. So he's a collector. Okay, he has uh, some uh, glasses there, I think, yes, okay, some tray, some trays, okay, and what can you see here? Yes, you can see ancient Egypt, yes, okay. This is Egypt, yes, would you like to be there, yes, no, why? I would like to know, uh, yes, I would like to go there and see the pyramids, yes. I would like to see, I'd like to see all the Asian uh, things from there, yes, Asian, 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 Egypt, yes, okay. Then we have a base from there. Yes, okay, this is pottery. Yes, ancient Greek pottery. Yes, okay. Okay. Yes, you have e Egyptian pottery. Yes, uh, they used to draw, yes, this kind of um, drawings, this kind of painting. Yes, uh, in their pottery. Well, this is David, the David from Michelangelo. Yes, okay, then you have the Roman soldiers. Yes, all this vocabulary you have to, uh, you will see in this unit in Asian history. Yes, okay, well. And then, Okay, you will have um, tombs, yes, okay, they were buried, buried in tombs, yes, okay. Oh, I wouldn't like to see that, the tombs there, yes, okay. But I would like to see uh, everything that has to be with um, history. Well, this is a, a short biography, yes? So in a brief biography, you introduce yourself, yes? You highlight achievements, least important projects, which you are involved. Bios have to be interesting and relevant to audience, yes? Must call the audience attention. And it says about me, Steve, blah, 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 he uh, serves as the managing partner, managing day-to-day -day operations, working with uh, clients and winning new accounts. Steve has previously, previously held several um, sales and marketing, Yes, blah, 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 he 
has a serving at the BP of technical and client services at a small software company. Steve earned a degree in electrical engineer from the University of Toronto, graduated in 2001. He is uh, currently, he currently lives in blah, 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 on with his wife and three children. Yes, so this is a short biography. So it must be highlight, you must highlight, you must highlight achievements, you must list important projects, yes, okay, and it must be interested, interesting, yes, uh, relevant to the audience, okay, is it clear? Then we have Steve Jobs, Steve Jones, pardon, has been practicing law in Oklahoma for more than 30 years. His practice is limited to trials and appeals, and appeals, uh, and appeals. He, wait, wait a minute. He earned his law degree from the University of Oklahoma in 1966 and was admitted to the blah, 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 blah. He served as a personal assistant to Richard Nixon. Wow, very important. And in 1967 was legal uh, counsel to Denver, Denver Vars Let governor of Oklahoma, yes, okay? So these were examples of short biography. Because in the uh, activity book, you are going to write a short biography of the man that is in the picture with all the important um, information uh, that the activity gives you, okay? Is it clear? Yes, right. Okay. So let's go to vocabulary, archaeologist, soldier, we have, I have already shown you the pictures there. Wait, 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 I will put in order here. Okay, so you have um, people and objects, okay, so you have to match, rover, collector, yes, is it clear? Right. One, now it's time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. You are going to do exercise one, two, three, six, yes. Would you like to open a new museum about your local town or city? Yes or no? Yes? Uh, what your town was famous for in the past? What historical objects you can show in the museum? and what you can tell visitors about. So you have to think, yes, uh, imagine you are going to open um, a museum here in Formosa, and you have to think about this, yes, okay? What uh, was this town famous for in the past? It was famous for its uh, fish, El Dorado, for example. Uh, it, it was famous uh, for uh, its river, Yes, okay, and you will show many things about the river. Yes, think about that. It was, uh, it was uh, famous for uh, many um, famous football players. Yes, and you will talk about uh, many football players that came from, that come from uh, Formosa and now they are very successful. Uh, what can you tell your visitor? Yes, okay. What objects, yes, will you put? Yes, will you show in your museum? This is orally. You have to talk orally at home. Think. Imagine. You will do exercises one, two, three, and six. Okay? So, you have one by one. Yes, I want you to read the sentences one by one. Yes, is it clear? Okay, I want you to look at the, uh, the colors I show you, on, I will show you on this table, on this desk, one by one. Yes, Elia? Careful, carefully. 
Después tenemos one day. One day, yes, I was in my at home and I saw a ghost in the garden. Yes, uh, a particular day in the, in the past. ¿Está? Entonces tenemos one by one. Ya lo sabemos, ya lo expliqué. Un proceso carefully. One day, a particular day in the past. One day, yes. I saw a man in the garage and then a man, that man was killed by a ghost. Then you have one day, one day you will get married and you will have many sons and daughters. Is it clear? One day, como una, un día particular en el pasado y después tenés la otra forma que es un específico, uh, un point específico en el futuro. One day you will get your degree. One day, you will be more mature. Yes, okay, you will grow up. Yes, it's clear? Okay, a partir de esa explicación, completar el ejercicio 6, okay? Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. 1B, 2B, 1D, the baby, 2B, baby, 3C, castle, 4A, apple, 5A, hot, 6F, famous, 7G, goat, and 8E, egg. Number two. So look at the title of the article, Still in History. And what do you think it's the article is about? Yes, okay. Well, um, it refers to people stealing uh, objects from history. Yes, from sites. Yes, okay. So on another level, it refers to the idea that these robbers, yes, are taking away a country's history or stopping experts from finding out more from the past. Did you know that there are robbers? Yes, they rob history. Yes, and they sell these objects or this uh, um, important information to other people. And this information is uh, very uh, important for the country from the place. Yeah, so, um, well, in this way, if the history of a country is stolen, we are not going to have history. Is it clear? So, the text will probably talk about the four people. Archaeologists look for Asian objects, Robert. Yes, you know, archaeologists look for objects. Yes, okay? To know about the history, to know about ancestors. And robbers steal them and sell them to collectors. Yes? For a lot of money, a lot of money. And soldiers try to stop the robbers. Yes? So it's a kind of chain. <coughs> yes? Okay. Well, uh, exercise three. One. Who series? Two, it was one of ancient Egypt's largest cities and it was famous for its architecture and buildings. Three, archaeologists from museums. Four, to steal things, yes, items, items from history, to protect the area from the robbers and they throw away the rest, the less wood pieces. They destroy hundreds, yes. Roman armies, different countries which control Egypt between the 16th century and the 20th centuries. It's big, it's a big business. Of course it is a big business. Yes, okay. Number uh, seven. Well, we have already talked about seven. Let's go to exercise six. One C, two D, three B, four A, five E. Is it clear? Right. So, um, let's go to page 136, 137, okay? Do you ever give talks or presentations in your language? Yes, in English here, yes, because you have to, um, in, the, in the other units, during the year, the year you have to um, record a three minutes video. Sometimes, uh, most of the times, it was a presentation of something according to the topic, yes, okay? 
Why would people give talks or presentations in this situation? At work, at school or university, at a meeting of a local club or town council, and at a special occasion, a wedding, for example, yes? We are going to do exercises two and three, okay? Is it clear? So, read it first. Yes, I wait for you. A journey to Machu Picchu, yes? So, uh, you will give um, a talk, um, a presentation, a show presentation at work, for example, in meeting, yes, presenting sales, figures, presenting uh, emo an emotional soon, yes, selling to a client, trading staff, presenting health and safety regulation, regulation presenting company, uh, presenting a plan for your company, plans for the future, yes, if you are at school or university, you will present a piece of work, your thesis, yes, thesis, yes, okay, in exams, making a formal presentation at university to present uh, your finding, yes, okay, and you, um, maybe, an uh, argument, yes, your arguments for a debate, yes, okay, so, um, we have many, um, we give presentations in many places, yes, for example, at work, at school, yes, at a wedding, yes, is it clear? Okay, because it is a special occasion, yes, you can, um, sometimes the father, yes, uh, the, the groom's father or the bride's father prepares a kind of speech, yes, okay, for the groom, um, for the bride, yes, okay, the best man, yes, el padrino también, yes, okay, the best man at a wedding telling a fun story about the couple, about where they met, yes. Sometimes uh, people make also presentations on a funer funeral, yes. When you, um, when a person's life, uh, when a person's life is um, finished, yes, okay. Some people uh, give presentations, they talk about the person's life, how good this person was uh, when they were young, yes. So, you give presentations every day, yes, okay, and in different places, okay? So let's go, we are going to listen, yes, and you're going to do exercises one and two, two and three, with the same listening, okay? Unit 11D. Good morning, and thank you all for coming. Today, I'd like to talk about my holiday in Peru, and in particular, about my journey to Machu Picchu. It's also called the Lost City of the Incas. Let me begin by telling you about the history of Machu Picchu. It was discovered by the explorer Hiram Bingham in 1911. So, that's everything I wanted to say about Hiram Bingham. Now, let's look at the history of the Incas and why they built Machu Picchu. The first Incas lived in the region of Peru around the 13th century. Okay, now the next part of my presentation is about my own journey through Peru and up to Machu Picchu. For this, I'd like to show you some of my photos. So, this first one is a picture of me in the town of Aguas Calientes. You have to catch the bus from here to Machu Okay, so to sum up, Peru, and especially Machu Picchu, is a magical place, and anyone who's interested in history should go there. Are there any questions? Okay, so, maybe you have to listen again, listen again, and then listen to the answers. Two, B, C, E. Exercise three, one. Thank you. Two, talk. Yes, you say good morning. Yes, and thank you for, for all coming. Yes, okay. Today I'd like to talk about this famous couple. They have been my friends for 20 years, and I'm very happy because now they are married. 
Yes, okay. And I would like to propose a toast. Y ahí propones un brindis por la pareja, contás anécdotas. Yes, okay. Three, begin. Let me begin by telling you about this uh, nice couple. I met them in 1990. Yes, okay. Say, five, look. Six, next. Seven, show. Eight, up. Nine, questions. Okay, is it clear? And then, well, the biography, yes, you have there. Think of three pieces of information you would like to, uh, you, you would expect to find in a biography. Work in pairs. Okay, number two. You have to read the biography and put in order, yes, okay? Which paragraph from one to four mention these topics, okay? Is it clear? So, okay, paragraph two. A. B, paragraph 2. C, paragraph 1. E, paragraph 3. F, paragraph 4. A, paragraph 2. B, paragraph 2. C, paragraph 1. 3, paragraph 3. F, paragraph 4. Ok? So, there you have the information there, okay? So where was he born? When and where? This is very important. Yes, and then in paragraph 2, B, his father was a climber and blah, 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 blah. Yes. Paragraph C, C, paragraph 1. Yes, C, why he became, became well known. Yes, okay, one of the first men to climb the Mount Everest without oxygen. Yes, at a very uh, high, um, you know, um, height. Yes, okay. Uh, D, paragraph 2, something he said. E, paragraph 3, what other people think or have said about him. And F, what he's doing now, yes? Entonces, en el último párrafo, nowadays, yes? Nowadays, he spends more time with his family, uh, he has uh, time for his friends, yes? And he opened the first Messner Mountain Museum where people can find out more about the world he loved, yes? So, the information must be important. It, um, it must call relevant, it must be relevant for the readers, okay? So, you are going to write, um, well, exercise C. Wait a minute, three, C. My grandfather always told me, you should follow your dreams. Yes, we can, said Barack Obama. Bueno, esa es una frase muy famosa de Barack Obama, the ex-president of the USA. When he campaigned to become the US, USA president, film critics said, she's the greatest actress of the, her generation. Four, education is the most power, powerful weapon. Yes, knowledge, power is knowledge. Yes, como dicen en escudo, es una cita muy, muy, muy cierta. Yes, education is the most powerful weapon, said Nelson Mandela. Yes, okay, knowledge is power. Yes, okay. Good. And then we'll go to, entonces, a, um, vas a escribir una short, así tenés el ejemplo. Acá en la 137, 137, una short biography. Y vas a escribir una short biography con los datos que te da en la página 90, el ejercicio 2 del Activity Book. Ok. En el mismo Activity Book lo vas a escribir, le vas a sacar la foto, PDF y me lo mandas. Ok. Good. Uh, 140 and you are free, okay? Is it clear? Exercises 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6. Yes, 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6. Yes, okay? Atención a estudiar, estudiar para la clase que viene los reported verbs, los cambios en reported speech, vocabulario, okay? Is it clear? Right. One, he said that he wanted to fly, he said he wanted to fly in space. Two, 
She said she was driving home. Three, we visited the pyramid in Giza. They say that they had visited the pyramid in blah, blah, blah. Number four, he's gone to the museum. Está presente perfecto, va a pasar a pasado perfecto. Yes, okay. She said, you said, he had gone to museums. One day I will go on holiday to Rome. Yes, will, pasa, would. He could go, Matt said that one day, one day, he could go on holiday to Rome. Okay, exercise two. Tall, said, tell, said, say, said. Exercise four. About, acordate de estudiar, talk about. Two, playing, yes, in it. Two, perdón, three, money up, spend money on, yes, you spend money on clothes, you spend money on devices, okay, technological devices. Four, take it with. Five, against, play against. Todos estos, estos verbos los di en las clases anteriores, así que revisar. Archaeologist, archaeologist, pots, yes, pots y pottery, yes, atención, eh. Painting, statue, and tomb. Exercise six, one C, two E, three A, four F, five G, six B, seven D. Is it clear? Right. Well, study for next class. See you and, well, do homework. Wait for you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.